You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with a new Let's Play episode of Angels with Scaly Wings. So y'all, I wanted to let y'all know uh, my girlfriend Elle could really use some love and attention right now. She's having some major depression and identity issues. Please, I've got her link to her Twitter and her FA in the description. Please go. Go, go give her some love and attention and appreciation. I'm sure she would really appreciate it. I know I would. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> sure, since one of our myths tells us that the humans who created us eventually turned... The human who created us eventually turned into a dragon. There's a lot of room for interpretation as to how similar humans actually are to dragons. I can see you don't have wings, but most of us are able to create fire in some way, or at least have a breath weapon. How about you? Not really. Having hands that are dexterous enough to do that is remarkable, though. It is a bit strange, though, because our myths also say that you gave that ability to us. Interesting. Maybe it's meant to be taken literally, meaning that when that ability was given to you, given to us, you lost it. Or maybe, or maybe we never had it in the first place. Humans are known to have created a lot of things out of nothing. After all, we only needed to discover how to create and use fire because we didn't have a natural ability to do so. We have a proverb that sums this up pretty well. <clears throat> what is it? Necessity is the mother of invention. So a lack of natural abilities drove innovation forward. What an interesting thought. Here's another thing. You may have you may you have many different images of humans, but in the end, only one can be right. It's also possible that you that you've been led to believe about humans that what you've been led to believe about humans doesn't actually refer to us at all. Are you implying that you aren't human? No, I'm just saying that if you really had been in contact with humans before, as your myths imply. They would need to belong to the same species as me, and thus be similar to myself. If they aren't, then either they weren't humans at all, or have very different origins. So you say there's a possibility that our humans and your humans may be something different altogether. I suppose you're right in the way that our images of humans are very inconsistent. They certainly can't all be humans in the way that would refer to a single species. The name should probably be reserved for yours. And we haven't even touched on the other two categories of humans. What did you call them again? Non-physical human entities and spiritual humans. Well, what's the difference? Honestly, the definitions get a bit muddled here. Going by conventional belief, a ghost could be a human who has died and thus changed into a different form. We would call this a spiritual human. An angel, on the other hand, would be classified as a non-physical entity. What do you know about angels? Angels basically look like humans with wings. Their existence in... Humans with wings. But what if the angels had scaly wings? <laughs> Their existence in ancient scripts was used to lend some credence to the theories about humans having become dragons. Because of the wings? Exactly! But some of your dragon species don't have wings either. Yes, as I said, once you start delving into that kind of stuff, it all becomes very convoluted. When we met, you also told me something about a four-headed human? Right. With that, we go into the realm of creatures that, don't, that just don't make much sense at all. Having four heads just seems unlikely from an evolutionary perspective. It might not really matter if we're talking about a non-physical entity or a spiritual being, though. So in the end, you have a lot of different ideas whose only connection to each other is that you use the word human to describe them in some way. And they share at least some basic characteristics. You fit those as well, by the way. What are they? You certainly are not a reptile like us, but you don't look like a conventional mammal either. We are mammals, though. Yes, but you are so different from other mammals we know that ultimately you are quite unique. We don't know any other sentient mammals. You've got a point there. I'll give you that. Strangely enough, we have plenty of human-like creatures in our mythologies as well. Oh, do tell! You already mentioned ghosts, but some other ones include dwarves, giants, fairies, and blim- I don't know what the fuck that is. And blimmies. I think I've heard of most of these before, but what is a blimmies? Essentially, a blimmy is a human without a head. A human without a head? How does that work? How do they eat? Uh, the fire giant? That's... <laughs> Fire giant from Elden Ring. <laughs> Instead of a head, they just have all their facial features on their chest. Oh, so it really is a fucking fire giant. <laughs> That's a rather weird mental image. There are also a lot of half creatures that share some characteristics with humans and other animals. Like Murray humans? Sure. Lastly, there are creatures that are said to be able to shapeshift into human form. Strangely enough, some of our dragon myths said they could shapeshift into humans and are, or that certain countries' royalty are descended from dragons. Speaking of dragons, um, if y'all can, 
look up the Dragon de la, Song de la Sangre series um, by Alan F. Troop. It's one of my favorite dragon series ever. It is amazing about shape-shifting dragons living amongst people. It's really such a great series. Anyway, that would imply that they are genetically compatible with humans. Sounds rather outlandish if you ask me. You certainly can't shapeshift like that. I suppose that's why they're just... Are you sure? To be fair, I never tried. Hang on. <laughs> Did it work? Nope, still a dragon. Aww. Anyway, how come you know so much about myths? All part of being an ambassador. Not only did I learn about dragon myths in order to compare them to what you're like, but I also studied myths about creatures that are similar to humans so I could find out how similar they were to yours. Well, you're doing an excellent job so far, and it's bound to help me a lot with my, games, with my game as well. You're gonna put all that into the game? Let's just say it gives me some excellent material to work with. I thought you wanted to give an accurate portrayal of humans, not just collect myths. One species will certainly be modeled after you, but that doesn't mean we can't introduce some variety with the others. People will love it if we also bring some of the more unusual myths to life. I see. But since we also want, it, want each of the normal human characters to be unique, I'd like to know how much variety there really is within your species. I've seen Reza before, so comparing him to you already gives me a bit of an idea, but how far do these differences go exactly? When we arrived here, you asked me if I was old enough to drink. That leads me to believe that your average human must be a lot taller. That's true. You could say Reza would be, would be, average for, would be about average for an adult. Not that it would be impossible to get a good, a good deal bigger than him or even smaller than you, but those cases are rather rare and usually the result of medical conditions. I see, I see. What about colors? Are there any humans who are blue like me? Not really. There is a certain spectrum of skin colors that can be lighter or darker, but so far I've seen a lot more variety in, in the dragons here. We do have quite a number of different eye colors, though. Interesting. As for things that aren't immediately visible, we also have different blood types, but I assume you know about that. We certainly have those as well. Some people, uh, some people even believe your blood type influences your personality. That, on the other hand, is news to me. Anything else you want to know? Phew! We already got so much. I have to think about it if I have to think about if and how we can work all this into the game. Have you worked on any other games before? I worked on a few small projects during the course of my studies, and also interned at a studio before. This on a completely different. This is on a completely different level, though. How so? It's my game, so I'm the one calling the shots here. It's a very different thing than just making a few graphics when you're part of a bigger team, for sure. I see. How long exactly have you been working on this? Phew! It's been several months now. I've got everything planned out, and a, lot, and a lot of groundwork has already been done. The most difficult things are the characters themselves, and make sure all the details are accurate. Of course. Of course. Have you shown the game to other people yet? Sure. Feedback is a very important part of the development process, so I regularly gather ideas and opinions from others. I have made a website to do this. And what do they say? All kinds of things, really. Sometimes it's hard to decide which ones have a good point, which can be disregarded. Overall, it seems there are many people who are looking forward to play my game, though. How many are we talking about? I don't know exactly. The counter on my website only tracks a number of visits, so I don't actually know how many different people there are. One second, y'all. Coffee time. Ah. Oh god, so good. And what if that doesn't work out? What do you mean? Well, you're investing a certain amount of time and money to making this game. Ideally, you would make back your investment and hopefully get some profit on top of that. If the goal is to make money, sure. However, I just wanted to try my hand at doing something like this. If some people are going to enjoy the end result, that's great. Don't forget that I also have made something that I can put, my, put on my resume. At the very least, it'll have been a good learning experience. That attitude, I suppose you really don't have anything to lose. I can always look for another job, and maybe I'll end up working at a game studio, but I think once I've started doing something like that, I might not get this opportunity again. So it's now or never, huh? In a nutshell, yes. And that all works out with your courier job? Sure. I can support myself this way, and I'm am, am not really under any pressure, since I don't have any deadlines to keep. Looks like you know what you're doing. I'd like to think so. What kind of tools are you using to make it? If I consider what some of your species look like, I'm having a hard time imagining how the bigger ones could program a game. While we do have devices tailored to each individual species, I can't deny that my dexterous hands make it a lot easier compared to some of the others. One downside is that I have to keep my, tail my nails short, or else using the keyboard gets a bit cumbersome. I imagine you'd have to be careful with those while working as a courier anyway. You're right about that. One wrong move and you've suddenly shredded the letter you were just going to hand to someone. 
wasn't. Luckily, that kind of thing doesn't really happen to me anymore. Not only because of the shorter nails, but once you've worked there for a while, you just learn to be more careful. It's a bit sad not to have them as a natural letter, op letter opener anymore, though. It's not to, and it's not just for me. Some people ask me to open their letters for them, since doing that on their own can be difficult for some of the less dexterous and older ones. Have you been working as a courier for long? I just got this job a few months ago, but I had a part-time summer job at the post office when I was growing up. My species is perfectly suited for the job, so they were glad to have me on board. See why? Of course, being able to fly is a big plus. My size means I can't deliver any big packages, but I often get assigned to urgent letters that have to be delivered as soon as possible. Huh, it's getting late. Maybe we should leave it at that for today. Yeah, I should probably head back to my apartment before it gets too dark. I got... Ooh, excuse me. I got more than enough material to work with. Thanks a lot. Don't worry about it. I'll just consider it a public service. Honestly, I'm incredibly grateful for the opportunity, especially after nearly getting denied by Sebastian when I met you. Just make the best of it. I certainly will! I really have to get going now, so maybe I'll see you some other time. Sure. Have a good night. Take care. See ya! Oh god. Lost passion. Superstition. Ooh, interesting. I wonder how many chapters there are. Hmm, alrighty. I woke with my eyes fixed on the ceiling wallpaper. A sense of dread lingered from a nightmare I no longer remembered. How many more times would I see this apartment before I returned to my own world? Before something happened to me? I got ready for the day, and tried to shake off those thoughts. Oh, hey, Keegan! Oh. And right on the minute. You show up at this time every day like clockwork. Second, y'all. Alright. The clocks are reliable, and reliable is good in this line of work. I've got something for you. An, env an envelope from the facility. One second, y'all. Coffee time. Huh? I wonder how many chapters there are in this game. Alrighty. Oh, these are the results from the test Santa ran on my blood. She must have sent this before she was... No, it's no use thinking about that now. Maybe the test results will, will be able to help us. Let's see. Remarkable similarities in genetic makeup, particularly the brain structure. Oh, I suppose this isn't the only reason you're here. The Chief will explain everything once we get there. Let's not keep him waiting, shall we? Oh, that's pretty. We arrived at a place that would look like an ordinary house, had it not been for its extraordinary size. It reminded me more of a hostel than a family home. Chief! There you are. Wait, weren't you supposed to be with Emera? Luckily, she doesn't work every day of the week. I see. Anyway, we're nearly done here, so I'll keep it short. Reza broke into the hatchery. There's another murder victim, an employee of the hatchery who was on night duty. Her body was found quite a way away from here. There's evidence of a struggle, but she was covered but she covered a lot of distance before it was ultimately over. Loud bangs were heard from the area her body was found, and she has numerous wounds consistent with both the wounds of the previous victims and the and the, and, and that other weapon he has. At this point, news of another corpse didn't have the same impact anymore. She was just another one of Reza's faceless victims. A hatchery? Is that what this building is? Well, not only. Well, well not only. It's a council-owned building, and they like keeping everything related to their sector under the same roof. So, besides the hatchery, there's also an orphanage and a family clinic inside. Uh, there are also offices related to the administration of those services. That reminds me of the production facility. It should. They have a similar management structure. Uh, can we get back to the case? Uh, sorry for the interruption, Chief. Wait a minute. If an orphanage is in there, then it was in there too. There are no other casualties, but Reza got something else when he broke in. A generator, as well as a few as well as a few eggs. Luckily the power was restored before anything happened to all the other eggs left inside. And needless to say, the parents of the stolen eggs are not going to be happy. Why would he steal eggs in the first place? Maybe you can tell us. That's why you're here, after all. I don't know. I have no idea why he would even do with them. Maybe he wants to use them as a bargaining chip. After all, he still has to make his escape and the portal is still broken. You think he wants to exchange them for safe passage to the portal? Maybe. It's still broken, though, so I'm not sure if that would be much help. 
Maybe he has the part needed to repair it, and now has everything he needs to escape. He could trade the eggs for safe passage, fix the portal, and leave. It's not the only possibility. He may not be the one who broke the portal. Maybe he thinks you're inten you've intentionally sabotaged it so he can't leave, and he feels he needs the eggs as a bargaining chip to get you to repair it. If he just wanted to leave, I feel like he could have done that already. It doesn't even matter who sabotaged the portal. We only know that Reza's actions are becoming more and more desperate. He kidnapped defenseless eggs and even used the human, even used the human weapon. Something's clearly going on with him. Maybe it means he'll slip up soon. Who knows, maybe he already has. In any case, we're done here. Let's head back to the department and decide what to do next. Hopefully some of the test results will tell us something. After a brief walk, we were in Bryce's office again. Initial test results had already come in, but didn't reveal any inside, anything insightful or new information. So what do we do now? We'll go over the timeline again? Not yet. There are a few things I'd like to take care of first. What do you have in mind? Suddenly there was a knock at the door. That's heavy sounding. Come in. Oh. Maverick, what are you doing here? Chief, can I talk to you? Alone? We're quite busy here, Maverick. What's this about? Oh, sounds like a good place to pause it. Alright, y'all. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Y'all, I got 130,000 views last month. That is absolutely insane. That was all. That's about a 28,000 view increase over the previous month. I love y'all so damn much. We also had the largest ever single subscriber count growth in a single month. It was like a, over 160 new subs. Uh, yeah, we're getting closer and closer to the 200 subs a month, and I am very happy about that. Anyway, y'all, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!